Oh, yep, I crashed it again, guys. Here's what happened. It's been a while since I've done an update on the human flying drone project. Turned it into a UFO for the meme, but uh, here's what I've done since. In other exciting news, I'm working on the first episode of Building Your Ideas. Exactly how it sounds, you guys comment stuff, I go through it and build it. So if you guys have any ideas, yes, people who don't comment, talking to you, leave them down below or on my previous video where I talked about this. And also if you've made anything that you think is cool, DM me or tag me in it on Instagram and we'll put it in the video if it's good, and if it sucks, or if it's, if it's just a picture of your, you know, I'm not. Not, uh, but just to give you a little hint of what this first video project is about, the comments that I saw most frequently requested. That's all you need to know. Here's what happened with the drone. So I'm trying to build this to a higher standard than some of my last stuff. Plus it's really hard to hot glue a drone together. So I 3D printed a bunch of mounting brackets for all the electronics, because before they were just kind of slapped on there. Printed some battery mounts. All very exciting stuff, yes I know. This is good though, more legit means it should fly. Ha. Huh. Don't be fooled though, they'll very much mess this up. Whatever, it's the first drone I've made. Honestly, I'm just impressed that no one's dead yet. Anyways, read all your comments, fine tuned all the PID values. Also, I got this little handy dandy voltage tester so we can uh, check to see how much battery you got left. Good, 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 good. All good. So I reviewed the footage and it looks like the drone's always like flying in one direction. I think that's due to one of the arms on the drone being a little bit, you know. I uh, think I have an idea how to fix this. Super precise, super professional. Should be good. Look at that, straight as an arrow. It flies. <laughs> Let's go! That's flying. So it's pretty stable in the air, like it doesn't wobble around, doesn't do this anymore. More does this. Best analogy I got. Actually, I could, I could just show you the video. The only issue is the drifting. If you think about it, this is like a six foot, square six foot drone. So for a giant drone like that to drift a little bit, to drift even like its own body length. I figured that was fine. And uh, we, if we took it to a wide open field, right, we could just let it fly around and I could take over the controls and hopefully maneuver it a little bit. Mm, that was the plan. So uh, I thought, you know, what better place to test this than the public park, you know? Nice lazy Sunday. Great time to go bring the drone down to the park. Fly it around all the kids, you know, super fun. Loaded it into the trailer, drove on over. Yeah, we'll just go over here. All right, got the drone set up right here. Beautiful day at the park. I'm gonna try and fly this thing untethered. Pretty sure you're legally allowed to fly drones at parks. That's like the one place you're allowed to fly them. I don't know if the size of this is an issue or anything, but um, it's still, still technically a drone. Oh, you probably don't want to be too close around here for a second. A lot of dog piss. It's, it's sweltering. It's like, you can almost like taste it on your tongue. I might just take a leak to let them know I'm here as well, but you gotta let them know who's boss. Right in the corner, all the dog piss. It keeps you sharp. It's like it's like smelling salt, you know? Keeps you sharp between the ears. Test one, untethered drone. Could go wrong, could go right. Let's find out. definitely flew. It went probably like 30 feet in the air, but basically it took off super aggressively um, and then got pretty high. And then it got super unstable when it was up there. I don't know if I moved the joystick too much or something happened, uh, but it got super out of control, started fucking, it was, it was pretty scary, honestly. It's like with the guards, it's probably like 14 feet wide on either side, just a giant metal drone. Just got pretty out of control. And then I just try, I brought it down as best as I could. But honestly, at th that point, there's really nothing I could do uh, except let it crash land into the ground. So the whole frame just bent itself. Yeah, I felt I felt that one. And because I was not expecting it to fly that high, 
So what we got is the vertical iPhone video from Instagram and it looks much less impressive. Looks like a toy drone just flying and then so I thought we're already down here, might as well try it again. So I did some more science to get it unbent. Straightened everything out the best I could and uh, you know, tried it, tried it a second time. Wow, did it not like that. Propeller ejected itself. You know, I'm actually gonna call that a feature. Self-defense, all you gotta do, crash it, break the propeller just enough uh, so that when you spin it up, it just boom. totally planned. Just really want to keep everyone around there on their toes. At that point, I just kind of took the L and uh, brought it home. But I did fix it and test it a couple more times. Made it so even if it crashes, it won't bend again. I added even more supports. Um, I got it so it can hover with the ropes that is. So, And at this point, I'm starting to think it has something to do with my remote. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. The remote I've been using is this Fly Sky. It's a pretty budget remote. Whenever I look on the software, there's always, the numbers are always slightly off. So like the center point won't be exactly zero. I'll have to like recalibrate it before each flight. Or maybe it's the flight controller I'm using. I'm using the DJI NASA MV2. It's pretty old, 2013, 14 era. God, those were great years. <laughs> might have something to do with that because it just doesn't hover the way a normal drone should. It might but very well possibly be the poor design of this thing, but honestly, like it's a super secure structure. All the propellers are level with each other. Everything's secure. The software I feel like should take care of that. So if any of you guys have any ideas about what's going on, like why the drone's drifting, if it is this, let me know down in the description, please. Apologize this project taken a while, but I haven't really done anything of this scale. This is realistically the first drone I've made. So, I mean, I did some work with a smaller drone, but really I just, you know. So thank you guys for being patient with this one and watching these videos. This project is personally a favorite of mine. It's gonna be kind of like the big project I do in the background. While I'm also focusing on the smaller projects you guys want me to build. That's about it guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.